It's today, it's today, it's today, it's coming today. I'm so excited. Win. Win. You can't deliver the package. No! I got it! I got it! I got it! How long have we been waiting for this? Since we were Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fox in a box! Let's try this again. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is nifty. Ah. Oh yeah. Home. You are home. So if you didn't know, we are kind of huge fans of Mr. Black. Just a smidge. Yep. And when we interviewed Tom a couple months ago, he told us that they were doing a special barrel age version of Mr. Black and that we had to wait for it. And we waited for it. Mm -hmm. And we waited for it. Yep. And waited a little bit longer. And then finally, the day has come to where we have now have Mr. Black aged whistle pig rye barrels. Yes. And that's it. That's today's episode. That's yep. it. That, we have Just it. Just that we got it. We're not going to tell you how to <laughs> So we got two bottles, 60 bucks a pop, which I'm fine with paying because very limited edition, 2,400 bottles, because yes. it says right here on the bottle, the number. And what we're going to do today is we're going to try this. We're going to try... Normal Mr. Black, and we're also going to try the Whistle Pig Piggyback Rye. So this is the rye whiskey that they used the barrels of to age Mr. Black in for at least six months. And we are super excited to try all of it. And if you don't know what Mr. Black is, it's a cold brew coffee liqueur. It's not sweet like Kahlua. It has a very nice bitter taste to it, like coffee, and it is delightful. Yes. In what order are we going to try these today? Well, I think what we should do is we should, with our blank palettes right now, because we haven't eaten or drank anything for a while. And it's 10 in the morning, so we are fresh. We should try the brand new guy. Okay. So we can get all the subtleties and everything. And then we should try the other two and then go back and compare. Oh, super excited about this. Like, it's been a while since I've been excited just about a spirit. Trying it. Yeah. This is going to be a bottle we, we dip into very seldom, I think. Yeah, agreed. Here you go, ladies Ooh, first. I can already smell oh, the yeah. rye. You can, you can smell the coffee instantaneously, like just by sitting right here. You can yeah. smell Mr. Black, but you can also smell that rye. It smells like a nice, rich coffee. Mm -hmm. So I've never had anything from Whistle Pig before. I know they're a very popular bourbon. I've just been kind of waiting for it. Um, we actually have a plan for when we hit 1,000 subscribers and Whistle Pig is gonna be involved. If love was in a bottle, it would be this. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. It's really nice. It's very smooth. Um, the, the rye and the coffee flavors mingle so nicely. Neither one overpowers the other. Like, if you had told me I'm gonna stick Mr. Black in a barrel, I would've chose bourbon, but I love that they went with rye. Cause it make, I mean, now it makes sense why they went with rye. Mm -hmm. Taste of that rye is the first thing that really you taste, but it is so smooth. It is so silky. You taste all these notes, but you have zero burn. There's zero ethanol. I mean, there's a little, there's a little bit. What I just trying to say is maybe very on low. like a level two. On a level two, because that cold brew just sits there and mellows everything out. <sighs> this is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is this is everything I want. I could not imagine it to be any better. I would love to to drink a white Russian made out of that. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and try Whistle Pig Piggyback, ninety six point five six proof, one hundred percent rye. I love that. Uh, you, are you trying to get lit? It's a real big pour. It's got a very light aroma. Yeah. It's not exceptionally strong in any regard. There is a little bit of acetone underneath. Okay. So that there's no real ethanol in the. Oh, that's a. It's kind of have a nice bright smell to it. It's very bright. bright. Citrus, mm -hmm. orange, 
Maybe more like a candy. Oh, that's really good. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about it. Yeah? I feel like it's good and I would love it in something. Mm -hmm. But it's got very distinct levels yep. to it. And the middle level is very sour. Rides are usually more are spicy. Right. And the spice level on this, again, we're not talking like heat spice. We're talking about just spice, spices. <laughs> yeah. It's very mild. Yeah. It's definitely on the back end. Right. I That's like, that third level that I really mm -hmm. like. But yeah. that, that middle level, I'm not a huge fan of. Okay. I don't drink a lot of rides, but I don't mind this. Um, that bottle, I think, was 46 bucks. You can get some rides, like Bullet Rye. I think Knob Creek Rye for under 40. Right. Rittenhouse is what? 20? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's obviously, yeah. Um, right. And stuff like that. Would I buy this again? I think so. I, you know, but again, this is definitely going to be more of a sipping occasional rye. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge rye expert to tell you is it super good, good or anything like that. I just, I, I do enjoy it, but I do see what you're saying mm -hmm. where... I think maybe mixed into an old fashioned or maybe a Manhattan or something with where there were there was bitters to kind of like bring all the flavors together. I think I'd like it more. It's definitely enjoyable, but I, mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. I think this is better. It's a it seems like this is a better cocktail rye yes. than it is a standalone rye. Yes. So check out our video that we haven't filmed yet of the Zazerac that we did earlier this week because we're going to use or we used piggyback. We first wanted to taste this before we put it in the cocktail to kind of give us tasting of it. Mm -hmm. So, it'd be interesting to know how the full story of who reached out to who about doing this collab. You know, we didn't really go to that much involvement in Tom's interview. We kind of just, he just kind of told us that it was a thing and we kind of left it at that. Mr. Black now. So, we're going to just do Mr. Black. We're, again, both very familiar with this. I think the whole world is familiar with Mr. Black. Maybe not tasting wise, but conceptually wise, you know, of Mr. Black, if you're watching our channel. It's just, again, it's not sweet like Kahlua, but there is still a sweetness in the nose. Uh -huh. it's, it's the roast of the coffee they use. It's delightful. Oh. In order for a coffee oh. liqueur to be good, uh. it, the coffee has to be good. And they do a very, very good job yes. with the coffee. Now, since we had this and we go into this. It you seems kinda, super sweet. <laughs> yeah. You kind of get like a generic version of, of the barrel age, which is, and I don't mean generic. Yeah. In a, you, you mean, no, you mean you get like the residual of this right. makes a barrel age flavor in right. this. And it tastes yummy. Yeah. So if you cannot get your hands on this, I would definitely recommend buying both of these bottles and just figuring out a ratio of what works it's for you. It's a one to 10 probably. Yeah. <laughs> and you're probably going to get very close to what this is. Well, with I the mean, barrel aging. Theoretically, that's how all barrel aging works. Well, right. Isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's about as close as you can get to it. Yeah. Which is funny because this bottle is 45, 46 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. Mr. Black is 30, so that's 76. This is 60. So, in theory, I mean, yes, that's going to be more expensive, but you get way more alcohol. I would definitely recommend, well, by the time this is aired, this is going to be sold out. Probably. It probably, yeah, it's probably sold out the yeah. day of no, or something No, they close. had 200 bottles a couple days ago. I was really debating whether to buy no, two more. No, we don't need them. This is an amazing collab. I yes. hope they do it again. I hope we can get more of the collabs in the future or yeah. more of their varieties in the future. Yeah, the Amaro I'm looking forward to eventually getting at some point. Yes. So go ahead and check out our last video where we made a Zazrak with Piggyback. And... Hopefully you can get your hands on all of this. Cheers. Cheers.